Hey everybody, I'm Don with Alphamoto. We're here today to give you a little information and demonstration on Alphamoto's really nice little tire iron kit here. Okay, before we get into a demonstration, I'd just like to uh, mention a few things about changing motorcycle tires. I've been in the motorcycle business over 30 years. Um, it's a very safe type of job, but when it comes to tires, all the way from breaking them down to reinstalling, there is potential for injury, so we have to be careful. Um, these have proven to be some of the safest and strongest tire irons I've ever used. Very, very um, substantial, okay, good quality steel. And one of the nice things about this particular style, which there's a lot of different styles of tire irons, is we have one side with this bend, which is for the actual installation of the tire, and then we've got this flatter side which is uh, better suited for removing a tire from a rim. So, and we have three irons included. You usually almost never need more than three. Two sometimes can be a little dicey. Removing tires manually can be hazardous, so we have to execute a lot of caution here. One of the things we have to do to remove a tire from a rim is we have to break the bead seal. And the bead seal is this edge here along the rim and that's what actually seals up and, and keeps the integrity and the air inside the tire and, and just reinforces everything. But it is a seal, okay, and it has to be broken. These are not bead breakers. They are for removing and reinstalling the tire itself. To break this bead, we have to use either a manual or a pneumatic style bead breaking machine, which we have over here in the shop. So I'm gonna slide over to the tire machine. We're gonna let the air out of this tire slide over there, I'm gonna break the bead down, and then we'll demonstrate how to use these particular tire irons. Okay, we're back over here at the lift. As you can see, we've got the bead broken down on both sides of the rim. We're now ready to uh, remove the tire, or if we needed to just remove a part of the, one side of the tire to do a patch or reinstall a tube, that kind of thing. Once again, safety-wise, um, this can be a little bit of a bear if you can get a hand with it, and you need a really good way of holding this wheel down. This is just a manual type ring, okay? Um, these tire irons can be used like this, or they can be used on the pneumatic machine also, okay? But as you can see, we've got the tire bead broke down. This is not a customer's wheel. This is just something we got out of our salvage yard. Tire's a little bit old, quite stiff. The other addition to this kit is these rim protectors, okay? Obviously, this is not a, a pretty wheel, doesn't belong to a customer, but a lot of sport bike enthusiasts, riders, have powder-coated or painted wheels, and being these are metal, we need some type of protection so we don't damage the paint or, or uh, coating on the wheel. Let's just open these up. And the way these work is we just, as you can see, they're plastic, kind of flexible. You can use the string if you like. Not absolutely necessary. But what we're gonna do is snap this over the edge of the rim. Get it started. Okay. Same thing with this one, because we're gonna have multiple points that we're touching this rim. So we need more than one of these. The trick to changing one of these tires is not to try and take too big a bite with the tire irons at one time. We wanna go a little at a time and just work it around. So we're gonna put these fairly close together and that's gonna give us a pretty wide range to operate the, the tire irons. The other thing about changing tires a lot of people don't understand, the inside of a rim is narrower than the outside of the rim. So to successfully get this tire off the rim, we have to make sure that it's down enough to give us the room to get it off. It's easier shown than explained. We're gonna start with two and have our third in reserve. Removal side, installation side. So we're gonna start here, get that down under the rubber, 
And your second one, maybe right about here. Okay. We're gonna just slowly, once again, has to, have, has to be down so we have enough room. Get that tire up. This is not for the faint of heart. Once we're there, now we can take the first iron out and move over. A little bit of help with this is, makes it much easier, but that's the basic function of that. Right. We can come over here, get another bite. This is why they have the strings on these, because they'll fall inside the tire and then you can pull them out. But those are the rim protectors and we would just continue now you're down to just needing one, a little at a time. And we're up and off. Okay, once we've got our one side of the tire removed from the rim, we're gonna remove our rim guards. Really nice, flexible plastic here. And then we're gonna just do the exact same thing on the other side of the tire, okay? Take our tire off, we can Put a new tire on, replace the tube, do a patch, whatever we need to do. We got our new tire, we're going back on. We're gonna use the opposite side of the tire irons for install, okay? Now you can use either, it works, everybody's a little bit different, but this tends to work better on these larger tires. So what we're gonna do is get it started, just kind of down below the wheel a little bit, and I tend to just put my knee up on it to hold it. And then we'll catch tire like that. This is where you may come to need three. Two will work it around, but you may need a third to hold it in place. But that's the side we're using. As you can see, it kind of con contours with the tire a little bit better. And then we just work ourselves around. And you can do this on the floor, but you really do need a secure way to hold the wheel. Take that off. Once again, we have to get it down. Oh man, that tire's hard. There it goes. See that? And we just continue around. You do not have to take big bites of this. Just nice and easy. These are great levers. We just keep going. Gets a little bit tighter towards the end. And there we are. Alpha Moto tire iron kit. Great for the professional. A lot of times in a shop, you have uh, multiple technicians, one tire machine, so you get to have your own tools. They don't get jeopardized by another technician. Or a do it at home yourself, it works just as well. Top notch tool.